The 1970s represented a period of exercise, recovery, and dance. I myself was experimenting, excuse me, I'm sorry. I myself was experiencing normalcy after years of self-abuse. My mantra was recover with art. The logic I used was I know how to live high on substances. I duplicated that rush by using instant recall while sober. I was a student of the late Evelyn Nineken, a woman who took the Stanislavski's method one step beyond. She felt his method crippled people by having artists recall trauma when portraying emotion, often leaving them stuck. Her method taught one to work through the pain of the recall. She felt actors cheap or cheated because the method never taught one how to reject the trauma. For example, uh, Marlon Brando internalizing his pain, etc. One of my proudest moments was re-entering life sober. This journey to newfound confidence allowed me to, face, uh, to, to, to focus on dance. One night I'll never forget is the night I was dancing at a hugely popular night spot. A crowd was surrounding me and my partner. In the audience was Rudolf Nuria, and then a woman named, uh, her last name was Van Buren, I believe it was. If not, if probably Mamie, not Monique, but anyway. A true dancer sees everything, even when his audience doesn't think so. I was ecstatic, the world's most famous European socialist dancer watching me. This inspired me to show off a bit. The music ended, the crowd dispersed. Nuria and Miss Van Buren walked towards me, and while passing me, he stomped on my foot. <laughs> True story. Rudolph was wearing boots that I imagine had metal in them. He turned around and smirked. Thank God he didn't break my foot. This incident had me completely at his mercy. Who would believe? I, the street urchin, was the victim of this truly sick, sadistic individual. Thank you. <laughs>